0.71 constructor point, we want to add a constructor to the point class that we have here, and it accepts another point as a parameter and initializes the new point to have the same values of our x and y, right? So we want to use the keyword this in our solution. If you've been following along, this is perfect. We're finally implementing it. If not, you can look in the playlist link below the like button. In the previous video, we talked about the this. So to do this, we want to basically make a constructor. It's going to be public with our class name. Also public should be lowercase, my apologies. We should have public points. And inside of here, we want to take a point as a parameter. And we'll just call this point pointy. That's gonna be our name for it. And inside of here, we wanna set these fields equal to the x, y values of pointy. So we'll do this dot x is equal to pointy dot x. And the this, remember, if this was the same name as our field, the this dot whatever is gonna to refer to the field name and not the immediate variable name. That's something super important to remember. So we'll have this dot y next is equal to pointy dot y. So this dot y x, pointy dot x, and then this dot y is equal to pointy dot y. So we're just basically doing this for each field. Let's close off our function. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. So let's press submit. We should be good to pass four out of four tests. Doing that, we have solved this practice it.